What's up guys, Trevor Hunter here with Dirt Bike Test. Uh, we just finished day one on the newly updated 2024 YZ 450F motocross bike. Um, Yamaha completely redesigned this bike in 2023. All new frame, motor, chassis, um, update suspension, mode, everything was all brand new for 2023. And then 2024 they left it, and then 2025 they made some revisions, uh, mainly in the chassis and suspension department. Um, it's got some new motor mounts down low, um, some new, some different ECU mapping, updated suspension settings, um, a new linkage with a different linkage ratio, and uh, a few other small minor updates, but um, overall just a, it was a refinement year for the Blue Crew. Um, their bike was already winning a lot of shootouts, having a lot of success in the pro racing, um, both in off-road and in motocross and supercross. And so Yamaha, they redesigned or they <clears throat> refined this bike to do uh, to fix some of the complaints or kind of some of the negatives that some people had about the, the now older bike. And uh, we just took our first day on it here at Glen Helen. So um, to start, we'll start with the power. Uh, this motor, this motor was really good, really pretty incredible before, and they just made it that much better with um, the small refinements they did for this year. Uh, the bike now it revs is really free revving and quick, it revs really quick through the power, um, and it revs far <clears throat> far on top. Whereas the old bike, it revs really good, but it's almost like a little heavy feeling. It took a little bit to kind of get going, and while that wasn't bad because the bike was really fast, um, it was felt like it took a little bit more effort to ride fast. Whereas this bike uh, with a new motor and everything. It really, uh, it really picks up the res quick. Uh, really good throttle response, but it's still very smooth. In that, you know, I'm not feel like I'm looping out or I'm hanging off the back of this thing. It's where I feel really in control, um, but it, it res really quick and kind of gets into that meat of the power right away. And I still think too, this bike is one of the best in that you can ride third gear and kind of lug it through the corners, or you can blast it in second and rev the bike, and um, it kind of makes just a lot of power everywhere. So if you're one that likes a lot of power on uh, your horse cars on heat this definitely is the bike for you i don't think there's any other 450 out there that's really even that close in, in power output um but like i said this bike puts the power to the ground really well which is impressive for how much power it makes uh, we don't feel like we're constantly spinning the rear tire or braking traction it feels very rideable for as fast as it is, as it is uh, which is a good thing and move on to suspension uh, suspension we feel is another place they actually improved quite a bit. Um, we got to ride a stock 2024 uh, YZ450F out here um, and go back to back with this new bike. And the uh, that 2024 it definitely it felt good, but this bike just like I said, a lot of the the small things Yamaha did to this bike just bumped it up just a few percentage points. And the suspension is in that same realm and that. Uh, Feels a little bit plusher, but it still has really good hold up. Um, a little just part of this comes into the chassis changes as well, but uh, it's a little less edgy and deflecty um, on some of the the harder screw edge hits and and bumps that Glen Helen has to offer on a on a midweek. Um, so overall, felt more comfortable or more comforting, and uh, you know that was one of the things that Yamaha maybe didn't have as much of compared to the now old old generation that kind of 2020 one to 2022 um, generation 450F. That bike was super comfortable. It's almost like a Cadillac. Whereas this last bike was real racy and sporty, but I lost a little bit of that comfort that a lot of riders really appreciate from the Yamaha. And this new suspension setting, I think kind of brings that back a little bit. Now you can still charge really hard and ride really fast, but you still have really good comfort and control in the, through the stroke, which is uh, pretty important, especially in a track like Glen Helen today. Um, it's over hundred degrees super edgy it's hard packed blue groove some spots um a lot of edge like it's a lot of edges i can cut, catch you out and uh this bike handled it really well um and kind of moving on with that we have the new linkage um the new motor mounts i feel like the uh the new motor mounts the new, well, the new chassis i should say um just felt a little bit more calmer and a little more stable than the old bike i feel like the old bike after riding it today had better front end traction, like I could corner off the front better, 
but I lack some stability. Whereas on this new bike, I got a lot more comfort, and I would say a lot more, but I got noticeable more comfort and uh, instability. And while I might have lost a, a touch of that front end preciseness um, in the corners and whatnot, I gained a lot of that back in the, in the straightaways, and I just brought more of that typical Yamaha feeling and that it was a, lot, a little more stable, a little more easy to ride forgiving than uh, than the old bike, which I thought was, for my, for me personally, I think that was better. Um, we had Scott Hoffman here as well today. He's one of our vet guys. Uh, he thought this new bike was quite a bit better all the way around uh, from the motor suspension, the chassis, everything. He, uh, he felt a lot more comfortable on this bike than he did on the 2024 that we also rode today. Uh, so overall, I think Yamaha made a really good step in the right direction. Um, not to say that they really needed to, because they were already one of, if not our, the favorite bike in the class for most of our riders. Um, but I think they, just, they brought it to a little bit more rideable, a little more comforting package that uh, definitely doesn't hurt, especially on, on a big 450 like this. Um, so it's got the motor, it's got, yeah, it's got as much power as you could ever want. And with the Yamaha's GYTR tuning app, you can really dial it in to just about whatever kind of power delivery you want. Um, you can have it leave it super aggressive and quick revving and hard hitting, or you can make it really smooth and linear and just easy to ride. Um, all with just the, the click of an app. It's super simple, uh, very user friendly with new sliding scales and uh, kind of the, the new reconfiguration of that Yamaha app. And we were able to mess around with some maps today. Uh, we mostly like the stock map, just all zeros, just because how just fun and lively the power was. Uh, but a couple of our riders felt like at, towards the end of the day, um, if we're gonna spend more time on it, we would uh, try to find a little bit more mellow map that didn't quite get rid of all, all the power on like the mid to top end, but maybe smooth out that bottom end just a touch for when the, the corners get blown out. Um, we're trying to cut across the track and whatnot. So overall, really happy with this bike. Uh, like I said, myself and Scott Hoffman both feel it's a big improvement. And uh, like I said, Yamaha has been really good in the past five, 10 years about taking small, small kind of minute changes and making you know drastic um, effects on the track. And this bike is no different. Um, they've a few small changes on paper, but it translated to a very different bike on the track. And from, uh, from our experience today, we both feel it's a step in the right direction and it's a better overall motorcycle. So. Stay tuned to dirtbiketest.com for more. Um, we'll have more on all 2025 Yamahas, um, off-road, enduro, motocross. We have it all at dirtbiketest.com. So until then, we'll see you on the track.